I met with the Bears today, guys. Yes. If you don't mind me All transitioning. Right. Um, yeah, I, I met with the Bears. How's Caleb? And Caleb is – it was cool, man. He's he's kind of all business. You know, there's nothing goofy about him. He's He, he is – he showed up to this meeting and um, and was just talking about how um, how you know things are are improving on the offensive side of the ball. DJ Moore came in beforehand and gave us the quote of the day. He said, uh, "You know, everybody's Wi-Fi is finally connecting on offense." Oh, is what he said. Mm. Um, and um, and it did appear that um, after you know, connecting with Roma Dunze uh, earlier on in the season and certainly in the preseason. And uh, DJ Moore having three touchdowns in his last two games. I did get the sense that um, 18 on your screen there is going to be looking for Keenan Allen and getting him involved coming up against the Jacksonville Jaguars. And that um, that that Caleb is feeling more uh, comfortable, um, you know, this just in, uh, two 300-yard games, including the uh, mm -hmm. passer rating north of 125, the yeah. highest passer rating of a Bears rookie quarterback of the Super Bowl era. He is feeling more confident, um, and and they are, they, yeah, I know, and, they, and they're also <laughs> adding a little bit more to the offense each and every week, um, and uh, and so you got the sense that they come here and um, would love to you know, get one more win, stack some wins together, go from one and two to four and two into their bye week, after which they've got Jaden Daniels and the commanders on the other side. Um, but you definitely get the sense that, that the kid is 100% more confident in everything. Um, I, I asked him what his daily routine is, because I was kind of curious to, to hear, you know, what, what his, what his scoop is. Um, and he, he mentioned how he gets into, gets into work six, six thirty in the morning. Uh, gets in a, a lift and then he goes to his various meetings and he's he's there pretty much all day and one of the last ones out um, goes home studies some more film and then to unwind um, play some video games yeah uh, I mentioned Apex 2k and um, and uh, Call of Duty uh, to which Kurt Warner turned to me and asked me if I knew what those were in front of everybody <laughs> wait wait Kurt didn't know Call of Duty Duty? No, it's not that he didn't know. He was calling me out. Oh, for not knowing because the meeting began. Kurt, Kurt always gets. To, Kurt always starts the meetings. I mean, when you got a Hall of Fame quarterback sure, sitting in there, and and of course the you know the analyst is the one who wants to get uh, a lot of um, um, thoughts about what he's going to be seeing on 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 game day, so he can prepare for that. But a lot of this is also Kurt, um, who is you know one of the the best tape dissectors in the business sort of confirming what he thinks he's seeing on film with the person who's going through it. So his first question was to ask um, Caleb Williams to grade himself on the season. And Caleb was going back and forth, choosing his words carefully. And, um, you know, Matt Eberflus did say later on that he's he's particularly hard on himself and the, and the coach is constantly reminding Caleb to be more gracious to himself. Um, Caleb finally did give the grade of B minus C plus to himself. I respect to that. Which point, I do too. Yeah. yeah, I know. To which I, I then said, you know, just, just say you, you could have said this grade was incomplete and just moved away from Kurt, which I think Kurt, um, didn't like, um, <laughs> when I said that, which is why he clapped back at me about the video game ah. stuff, but, I, but the video game stuff is again, I just want to know, and, and this is why I asked why I told Caleb is what. Well, why I was asking him is just to see, you know, how uh, easy the game was coming to him, or at least it looked to all of us when he was in college winning Heisman Trophy, uh, the Heisman Trophy for USC and making all these eye-popping Mahomes-like plays, uh, to see if he's, you know, more immersed in football than ever before, um, that he's more 24-7 about football than ever before. And, and he said it's not appreciably more. That um, that that obviously the game is is definitely more difficult for him to get up to speed and how he told a story about being in training camp and um, and he got the the play call wrong and the protection wrong and Cole Komet in the middle of the huddle in front of everybody said you're getting it wrong like maybe you want to do that again and how he appreciated that and how it's been a learning curve ever since and how he's accepted that challenge and and things of that nature um, but uh, I, I just couldn't help but think. 
that uh, if we'd seen him in week one, week two, certainly after losing in Indianapolis or in week three after that loss in Houston, when he and DJ Moore and the rest of the receivers began to meet either on the side in practice or in the case of Adunze and and um, and and Williams working together after practice and DJ Moore being asked to work together more after practice and him being a veteran and kind of wondering, um, you know, uh, staying late, you know, sort of giving the the side eye to that. But of course, he's there for his rookie quarterback and how they're all, you know, communicating to uh, a little bit more since week three. Um, and, and they haven't lost since then. It was just an interesting uh, glimpse into seeing this team and how they're they're building up with their, you know, first year quarterback, as opposed to the Vikings, the home team from the NFC North last week, where they had just kind of taken off like a rocket ship with their new first year starter for them, but obviously a bit more veteran um, and seeing how, uh, how, how the Vikings are now five and oh bears are three and two and hoping to get to four and two and be, uh, you know, right. Just one win behind the Vikings. It's, it's interesting. Catch the rich eyes and show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to three Eastern for free.